Hey, yeah, what's up? This Disciple Martial Occurrence rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-telepathy all day. And everybody with them. All right, check this out. This, this video is going to be called They May Not Be Pedophiles, But They Are Going to Die. <laughs> they may not be pedophiles, but they're going to die. See, in America, the hypocrisy is so bad that, <laughs> quite frankly, I think the stench has risen to heaven. They like to witch hunt um, people they think that are pedophiles or sexual promiscuous people, even gay people. Um, but like I always tell y'all, 40 states in this country allows children to have sex. Let me say that again. 40 states in this, in this country called America allows children to have sex in 40 states. If they're either adults or they're not. I'm not, I don't care how you're trying to size it up and how you're trying to dress it up. And if they almost are adults, adult children under the age of 18 are allowed to have sex in 40 states. Okay. That's what you need to know. This is, that's why I say hypocrisy, because in other countries, they do not say, you know, they don't witch hunt people. They don't say children shouldn't be having sex. But these are this whole culture is talking about children shouldn't be having sex, but they allow children under the age of 18 to have sex. That's the hip it's about the hypocrisy. Other countries do have ages under the age of 18 for the age of consent for sex. But they're not being hypocrites going out and witch hunting people that that uh, they feel are having sex with children. They're not doing that in the same breath. Talking about we don't want pedophilia here, but yet you got 40 states. We don't want children having sex. This is what I want to say. We don't want children having sex, but you're allowing children to have sex in 40 states. That's what I'm talking about. That in itself is a curse because that's hypocrisy. Your own, culturally speaking, your own laws violate your conscience because you feel as a community, as America, as a culture, that children shouldn't be having sex. Other countries don't have that problem. They don't have this hang up like you do. You're, you, you have this hang up in your culture all everywhere, all around that children shouldn't be having sex. But you contradict it with 40 states that allows children to have sex. So how is it that it's in your mind? How is it that it is in your culture that children shouldn't be having sex, but 40 states allows them to? And it's for that reason that judgment is on them. It's for that reason they are the hypocrites. So... But even beyond that, the message here today is with all their witch hun hunting and their, their haughtiness, their self-righteous ways, that they, their, pot, their uh, uh, high on the horse kind of ways, their high horse kind of attitudes, Thinking that they're, I'm not a pedophile. I've never had a sex history. When I was a kid, I never did anything as a kid. With all of that being said, you still gonna die. <laughs> you still gonna die. You might not have a mob of people behind you thinking you're a pedophile, but you're still gonna die. Death is a part of life. <laughs> and if you do the wrong things, even in this country, they offer the death penalty. And the death penalty is not only given for pedophiles. 
There's many ways to die. There's many reasons people should die. Okay? There's many reasons. There's many reasons people should die. And that's what America is going to understand. You think, oh, well, you know, oh, I'm not a pedophile, so I'm not going to die. I'm sorry. You've done too much evil. Okay? If it ain't for the 40 states that allow children to have sex, then you have the racism. Then you have not the proper, you, you, don't, you don't have the proper retributions for slavery. Then you have police killing innocent people. Then you have police raping children, okay? And for the government, what covers them is the 40, st the 40 states that allow children to have sex. That's the government. That's them all covered. All these people, that's them covered. Yeah. 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 So why, why you, 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 you know, these politicians say, well, I don't have nothing to do with that. I'm sorry. You are part of that government. You are part of the government that allows children to have sex in 40 states. And you sit back and watch your own community and citizens do witch hunt and play with people. Like as if they're pedophiles. Yeah, you know about it. You know all about it. You're too nosy not to know about it. I know you know about it. But what they, what, but what the community of America doesn't know is that you allow children to have sex in forty states. That's the nail in the coffin. It's too late. It's too late to say I'm sorry. It's too late to try to change it. This has been the whole. This is have. This has been this way the whole time. The whole time, forty states allow underage children to have sex. The whole time. Okay, so but what? But the, the problem is what you don't realize is there are things that are worthy of death. Is besides being a pedophile, that's not the only thing to get you killed. Lying, witch hunting people that are innocent, doing a, a cross country witch hunting of a person and not bringing them to true justice and then finding out it was not as it was presented to you, that that was not the nature of that person or the nature of the people that say they, the person that say they're a victim. That was not the nature of their relationship. And once you figure out all of this, you don't get to just walk away. You're worthy of death. For slavery, what's been done to Africa, the African-American community, MLK being conspired against by the American government, them selling, selling out of court in 1999 for conspiring against Martin Luther King Jr., that's worthy of death. That man was the best leader that America would ever have and has ever had. That's worthy of death. In other words, that's worthy to start over as far as a complete system. Your system has, your, your police has been raping the children. Your government has 40 states that allow children to have sex. And Martin Luther King was killed by it was conspired against by the American government. That's enough to just kill it all off. So death comes not only physically, death can come also to things. And um, it's just time for death. You might not be a pedophile, but you're going to die. You're going to die. And some of you, and I have to say this like this, because there are people that sit back with this pious attitude, like there's no reason for them to die. They think, oh, oh, me doing this and doing that. Oh, that doesn't call for death. I'm sorry to tell you. If you look at the Bible, there's many reasons that people die. People die for dishonoring their parents. In the Bible, if they dishonored, disrespected their fathers and mothers to a, to an extreme degree, they were taken to the to the uh, to the edge of the city. I get, I think, the gates of the city and stoned to death, just for that. There are many reasons people deserve to die, and if you and I'm gonna tell you, a big one is is when you have found been found out to be a liar, 
or to dress up things as they were not. And to follow that and to find out that it's not the truth, then that's worthy of death because the person would have died if they were guilty. So if I would have died, then what's supposed to happen to you? You're supposed to just walk away? And you're totally wrong and you totally do this. You totally uh, consumed, uh, swamped around my life. And you're supposed to just walk away because you thought this was, you thought you were trying, you think you were trying to seek justice. I'm sorry. You didn't have any, you didn't have any true, you didn't have all the story of the situation to know it, what it was exactly for what it was. So that means, and if, if it would have worked to your fit, if you, if I would have been found out to be the character that you thought I was. And how to think and how everything was, if I would have been that identity as, they, as, as, it, as it was presented to you, I would have been dead. So because you put me before death, then you deserve to receive what you were putting me before. Because it's that serious. It's that serious. It brought about death in many ways. Look at your country. You brought about COVID-19 because the repercussions came to you for playing around my life and other people's lives. So the repercussions came because of you playing, following this manhunt, doing an investigation that came up to nothing. And now you got COVID-19 on your hand because God stood up and judged you for what you did. So you deserve to die for bringing COVID-19 on people. And, they, and there was no true nature or, or for... Um, that you found there was no true identity as you as you were told and it was not like it was presented to you therefore and 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 the people that the person that said something had a whole history and life with me so that means someone has to die it's just no way around it, no. Because you're, you're, I can't expect you to feel the way I feel because you didn't go through it. That's for Christians, that's for preachers, that's for, every, that's for America. It's easy to sit back and just say, in a cliche type way, what, you, what should be done. But if you sent out death and you sent and you were waiting to kill, then that should be brought back to you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have had the heart to kill and thinking to be kill some, killing somebody when you didn't know the nature of everything and how it happened. I could go randomly pick one of you and say you a pedophile. I could go pick one of you and just randomly check your life and I probably would find something that's a little awkward sexually because you're a human being, but that does not define you as a pedophile. But you didn't go, but the way you went about it, now you have caused an, an, a necessary death for someone. And it's you. So I say all that to say this. Although you might not be a pedophile, you're still going to die. People die every day. I mean, they die for, you know, cheating people out of millions of dollars. They die for, um, Messing with someone else's woman. They die for being the overall problem in their country. Like, I would say like Donald Trump, how he responded slow on COVID. In other countries, people die for that. See, you in this country, right now in 2021, on December, you sitting up thinking the only thing worthy of death is pedophilia. I don't see it that way. <laughs> I don't see it that way. I think people that slowly responded on a, on a virus, and now you have complete catastrophe, no matter if I wanted it to happen or not. The bottom line is the dishonor that Donald Trump is in. In other countries, he would have been killed. 
because it sometimes don't matter if you know the person didn't get it, it wasn't 100% responsible they this this guy was enough of a res, of responsible he was enough responsible to call for his d- destruction in another country they wouldn't care because he is <sighs> He caused the he caused it to be in the position that it's in. I'm just giving you examples of how other people <laughs> do things, and in other countries, he would have been dead. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you how it is. You you, you know, I mean, I have freedom of speech, and this is what I believe. He would have been dead in another country. If they would have looked at the time that went by and he slowly responded and now it's out of control. I'm not talking about it in another country. I'm talking about the fact that it is higher here in, in a Western, wet Western country than an Eastern country. So it's worse in the West, as far as America goes, than it, than it, than it is in a lot of places in the East. And it wouldn't have to be this bad if he did not respond so slowly. And for that reason, many would call for his head. If you cause a lot of problems that led up to the karma of COVID-19. So if you caused a witch hunt and a man hunt that came to nothing and God sent karma because you was playing with one of his children... And it came to be true that that's why it's here, because you play with one of God's children, people will call for your head. I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you. Countries, I mean, you know, um, drug companies that cause a lot of death, people require them, them people to be dead. You know, People, hospitals that failed some families, people call for them to be dead. They don't say, oh, we're just gonna walk away, you know. That in a perfect world, everyone would have that mentality, but I don't think that would be good for justice. Because then anyone would feel like, oh, okay, if that person was forgiven, then maybe we maybe we all could no. Maybe we should, maybe, maybe we'll be forgiven. No, maybe people should forgive that person because that other person forgave this other American forgave this person, this other person for something and it worked out. That's good for them. That's good for them that you're able to have someone kill your family member or kill your family and you're able to forgive. That's great for you. But for the system of justice, for the system of justice, that is not, that cannot be the foundation because then people will just walk over people and just do whatever they want to do. So we have to have a system of justice in place for just because people will take advantage of a weak system of justice. I'm saying it again. We have to have severe justice in place when it comes to witch honey people playing with people things like that because if that doesn't happen people will abuse the system of justice a weak system of justice and that's what has happened in this country that's why america that's why you look at cops they deserve to die you took a life man You shot somebody's kid and you act like that's just nothing. Like, oh, that's just, we'll just go through the process of of whatever time I got to do. This is how these cops thinking. They're going to just do whatever, do whatever time they're giving and it's over. But you took a life that was young and flourishing. And some people might look at the age in some countries and say, this person didn't, didn't even have a chance to live. And the bottom line is, they didn't kill you and they probably wouldn't have not killed you and you probably could have had some kind of maneuver to make sure both of y'all lived but instead of you 
allowing uh, instead of you both choosing instead of you choosing that both of you lived you chose to take that person's life so for me on that and that person being young you you forfeited your life that's how some people feel it what if it was your child oh you just want them to do 10 years 10 years 15 years for your child that you brought in the world and spent all that money on and gave all that love and they get wiped from the earth never to come back again and you just think that it's okay. That's good for people that will, will be like that, that will be that exception like that, but that's not good for justice. That's not good for the system of justice because then, like I said, people will take advantage of that. They will take advantage of that. They will go in. There's some wicked people out here. They will go in knowing they ain't going to get much time for killing your, one of your children. So the system of justice has to be in place. Okay, if they kill your child, guess what? I'm sorry. That child was a little too young. You got to die, sir. I mean, people get killed for killing cops. It's just a killing just like they killed somebody. You know I'm right. People get killed for killing cops all the time. People get the death penalty. Go look it up for killing cops. And it's, and it's pretty much in nature no different than how they kill people on the streets. But yet they don't get no, they get barely any time or not even nearly as much time as the person would have gotten for killing them. You see what I'm saying? So it's a double standard of the law. It should not matter that there are people, they should be held more accountable than some everyday person. This is, per, this is a policeman that goes out to uphold the laws of the land every single day. They got the right, they got the, the they're, on, they're supposed to be on the right side of the law every day. And, you, and they kill somebody and they on the right side of the law every day? This is in their mind more than the average person. The average person does not sit up and meditate about, you know, crime and catching people and things like that. It's changing a little bit. Some people are getting crazy. But a lot of us average everyday people, we don't look to catch people in crimes or anything like that. These people wind up doing crimes after you have meditated on or you have fixed your mind to where you're trying to catch people in evil deeds, you wind up being the person that's doing it. How does that work? And that's why I feel that if they take a life and it comes out to be murder, they should defort, their life should be forfeited. Because if you don't do this, it's not equal justice. They took a life. They took a life. That's the bottom line. If they destroy your life, they took your life. If they went and told all these people all this crazy stuff, they, they, that's a way of taking your life. That apology is, 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 is hysterically amusing. If you think you're just going to walk away by giving a weak apology, no. You destroyed a life. You caused COVID-19 to come as a result of touching that life because God stood up and helped that person. So you're the cause of COVID-19 plaguing the country because God had to do something. And now that's why Omicron is here because people still plan. That's worthy of death, especially when it goes coast to coast. And if you, and, and especially if you would have killed that person, if they were wrong. So what's supposed to happen to you? You're wrong. They're not. So what you supposed to do? When you have been wrong and you've been skilled in not being wrong in situations like this, you have been skilled to not make the mistakes 
of accusing an innocent person without all the facts, without seeing everything as it is. That goes for the American community and the law enforcement. If you step into this game of accusing and playing with people and then you don't you don't know how to use truth skills and law enforcement skills, then you deserve to die as well. You shouldn't play. That's nothing you can play with. This is not play, play, life, play, play in life. If you're if you if you have been for so back to law enforcement, if you have been skilled in in, in learning how to gather all information and seeing the overall situation for f truly what it is and then getting an accurate definition. If you don't get that accurate definition. I mean, if you override that ac accurate definition and you just continue to play and decide to do what you want to do, you're worthy of death. It's that simple. It would be no different than if we did that to you. You were just an innocent person. We just decided to do this. We decided to do that. We didn't take all the information and we just played this game country, all across the country and everything. That's worthy of death. That's the worthy of death. Not to mention, because of all that America has been doing to people, the plague of COVID-19 came. Now, that's definitely worthy of death because in all your plan, you produce death on your whole country. That's worthy of death. Don't play stupid now. You understand exactly what I'm talking about. You, get, you play it with everybody in the country. You play with Pacific people in the country. A plague of COVID-19 came. And now everybody's dying because of you. That's worthy of death. That's worthy of death. You look in the Bible and see how people die over just disrespecting their parents. What you have done, America, is worthy of death. It's worthy of death for what you've done. Okay? So you might not be a pedophile, but you're going to die.